Okay, so I have traced a Chapel Hill Ramsey, uh, the ram that is the mascot for UNC Chapel Hill, and um, just painting in the background. I have mixed a color because there is no color that's really the Carolina blue. That's their color, and because it's one of those unusual colors that's kind of a baby blue and kind of a periwinkle, and depending on which pictures you look at, the colors will look differently. Some will look more baby blue, some will look more purpley blue. And I actually, I lean towards the periwinkle blue. So that's the color I mixed, but I have used a million blues. Every blue I have in my paint mixture. And um, even a little bit of brown to tone it down just a bit. And some white, a little bit of black because some blues can get really bold and kind of just knock your socks off kind of blues. And this one I was trying to just make it a little bit more subtle, a little softer. And it's still a pretty vivid blue. But what I'm doing is I'm taking the, the deeper blue that I mixed, which I have a ton of it mixed up, that I can use for future painting projects. But then I added some white to it, which is like what I did here. And then I just come back in and I just kind of do a gradation of color where it kind of looks, um, where it just kind of goes from one color into the next very softly. So, there's a little bit of a shadow behind the rim, if you want to call it that. That's the deeper blue. And then it fades out into a softer blue. So, like I said, I'm just painting in the background. And then I'll come back and do all the, the detail. And then the actual ram I have painted in a cream color so it's not white it is white added to Liquitex's uh, unbleached titanium so that's kind of a cream colored got a more warm tone to it so I mixed the white and the unbleached titanium together to get that warm white that you see right here. Right here is a little bit of the white canvas left. Also here's white and you can see the difference in the warmth of this color versus the regular white. This is also a gallery wrapped canvas. It's 16 by 20. So it's a very deep canvas. It's an inch and a half thick and my edges are going to be painted in the deep color that I mix that is almost black but it's got a blue cast to it so it's a very dark navy and once I get it on the canvas I may have to adjust it even more because I'm not sure when it gets on the canvas if it's going to come out feeling navy or feeling too turquoisey or because my blues all the blues have a tendency to kind of go towards the turquoise direction and I don't need turquoise. So, we'll see about that here shortly. And two, when you're when you mix paint, it always comes out a little bit darker than the wet paint when you actually paint it on a canvas. 
So um, I mix this, what I feel like is Carolina blue, but it comes across much deeper when you actually paint it on the canvas. So that is also why I'm adding this lighter blue that I mixed white with into it, and that tones it down a little bit. I'm going to take some of that lighter color and just kind of what I called like yesterday cross hatching and then a little bit of the cream color too just to give it a little bit of texture just gives it a little bit more interest <laughs> So if your paint has started to dry, you can always dip your brush very slightly in the water and that will help you also blend the colors a little bit easier because once that paint starts setting up, and this is thick, very thick, creamy paint from the tubes, so it takes longer to dry. It works a little bit more like an oil-based paint because you have more time to play with it. But once it does set up, you know, you can't play with it too much or it will lift it off the canvas when you touch it with your paintbrush. So when it's wet, it's easy to blend, but you have to be really careful about not going back once it's started to really dry and overdo it. And, um, risk pulling that paint off the canvas. Okay, I think that pretty much gets the base coat on there. So I'm going to rinse my brush really well. I'm going to use my blow dryer to get things kind of nice and dry. These are baby food containers, and I'm going to put these two colors beside me here. They're Ger Gerber, and the, here's the lids, and they're great to store paint with. And then the paint that I just used, I'm putting a, another plate on top of it to keep it from drying out. So I have one painting from the internet and another painting from a mural that I think is somewhere on UNC Chapel Hill's campus somewhere in a building. So this is what I'm referring to and I want to do somewhere kind of in between on the style of painting. So I think what I'm going to do first is do some of the darker areas to kind of define the shape a little bit. And it's always good, if you can, to work kind of left, if you're right-handed, work left to right so you're not putting your hand into paint as you're you know, doing your project. And then some of this might get covered up by the other color, which is fine, I, and all I have to do is just come back and you know, add it back. So I'm not going to try to do too much detail yet, just to get the basic shapes in. And some of the larger dark areas will probably have to have more than one coat to make it really dark.
I don't like the way this brush is painting, so I need to find me another one. Some brushes you just have better control with. You gotta find the one that feels good to you. So you see the ram starting to kind of unfold as far as um, what it's going to look like. So now I've got to come in and put the Carolina Blue onto the ram. And what I'm going to do is add some of the creamy color to it to lighten it up a bit. And I need to find me a good brush for this part of it. Some brushes just feel right and some don't. So let me see how this one feels. Now I can't get, you have to be able to get a certain pointed edge to it. I'll let my AC run for a while, but it's kind of freezing me out. I'm going to hit this with the blow dryer. I have a lot of brushes, but I'm very particular about the ones I use. They have to have strong enough bristles where they're not going to get splayed out. They need to stay together pretty firmly and, um, and then make a good point, come to a point when you need it to. So it's kind of a hard mix to kind of find sometimes. <laughs> 